Trapping plays a very important role in modern-day wildlife management. Professional wildlife biologists monitor fur bearer populations to maintain a healthy and sustainable harvest of this important, renewable natural resource. Trapping provides recreation and income for licensed trappers across this country. The Fur Shed Series, brought to you by Who's Your Trapper Outdoors. Who's Your Trapper Supply. Leatherwood Creek Trapping Sense. HTS Productions. Who's Your Trapper Deer Sense and Leatherwood Wildlife Art. Okay, continuing my organization uh, for these trips. As I said um, on the last Fur Shed series, I um, had bought these toolboxes at Lowe's. They had them on sale. They're Craftsman toolboxes. Had them on um, sale or ex what a good promotion or whatever. So this one uh, is for urine. And um, the tub that I used in the past was big and it was kind of deep. Uh, and for all of our urine and lure and bait. Uh, so this is going to actually take up just a little more room than that tub. So we're, we're losing a little bit of space, but we've gained some other space because of organization. So I think, but this will work better uh, when we're actually using the, pro the, the needing product and using product. Uh, so this one holds six, six uh, half gallons of urine. And what I've got in here is a gallon and a half of Bobcat urine, a gallon of coyote urine, and then I'm putting together um, a half gallon of Red Fox urine. And what I did on each one of these, each one of these has got a pint of glycerin in it. And that does two things. One, it um, so that's like a 25% mix. You can go clear down um, to just one pint to a gallon, or you can go clear up to four pints to a gallon. So that could take you up to 50% glycerin, 50% urine. If it's very cold, it'll keep it from freezing. If it's very dry, um, no humidity, then it also keeps helps with evaporation issues. So it hold, keeps holds the scent up better. So. Um, and this is, like I said, this is for Fox with uh, one pint of glycerin, and I've got one pint of glycerin and all this here. So anyways, I'm gonna top this off. But um, So this is for our setup for urine. And then this will also hold um, some additional uh, urine bottles up here on top very easily. Close the lid, it'll all fit in there. So the, the urine squirt bottles and, and um, spray tops are in this toolbox and that's this is all obviously support support product for the three of us that are trapping out of the truck so anyways my continuing um, organization all right one last <laughs> one last organization thing that we're doing we've got another toolbox for uh, lure and bait and um, the reason we use the pints of bait is just simpler uh, it's obviously a top dog um, for us, we don't have to scoop it over from a gallon to pints or whatever, and it also a gallon won't fit in this toolbox because of the height of them. So um, this is uh, after doing this these trips for a number of years is uh, the way that we've come up uh, with being the most ef um, effective uh, and efficient. Um, so uh, as far as using this size, what we um, and then they also fit in the pouches of the fiber tough pack baskets. So. Um, like I said, we're, we had a big tub and we we're putting all the bait and the lure and the urine and everything in this one big tub and you pull a gallon out and everything would fall down in on itself and it becomes kind of a mess. So this is much more organized as I've said. We've got um, lure, uh, both one ounce and four ounces over here. And then there's little trays at the top here if you can see it. And they actually will hold some one ounce bottles and some dropper caps, that kind of thing. Typically we don't use dropper caps, but for like long distance, we actually do use it on that. Um, and then, um, um, you know, closes up. These, these, once this lid's closed, they're up against here, they can't tip out. Um, so this, here again, something we're trying on this trip to see how it's gonna work. I think it's definitely gonna work better than what we had. It, it, like I said, for this, um, these two toolboxes will take up a little more room uh, than the tub did for the, the um, um, lure and bait in the past. But I think the ease of using this and the efficiency uh, in using this and uh, we'll be better once we're out there. So we'll find out. Um, certainly, if it doesn't work out, we can certainly use these toolboxes for something else. So um, anyway, so it's kind of where we're at on this on this organization. Like I said, three people working out of a pickup. Uh, I'm trying to make it as simple as possible 
Um, you know, and you may think this is a lot of lure and a lot of bait and, of course, a lot of urine. But when you're running, um, you build up to around 100 sets, give or take. Uh, and you've got three people going at it, um, you can go through through some product. So, um, you know, once, once as I mentioned before, once you've got bait, lure, and urine at a set, you don't need to do anything to it for several days. If the bait's there, you never need to do anything to it uh, unless something digs it out and hauls it off and eats it. Uh, but um, as far as the lure, it'll hold up for easily 10 or 14 days. And then the urine, we try to re-urine depending on um, the weather every five to seven days. Um, just give it a fresh squirt. So um, so you can go through some stuff like that. We always come home um, with additional product or product that we didn't use, but I'd rather be safe than sorry and have plenty with me um, and um, come home with some than to run out and need it. So anyways, um, this is, this is uh, what we're working on. When I um, get ready to load the truck here about a week or so, I'll um, film another um, little recap of loading the truck and the organization, which I did actually a couple, three first shed series ago, but this will be with our new um, toolboxes and that kind of thing and see, see how things go. So anyways, that's what I'm working on.